What's up, Faith Squad? Happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I didn't even mean to push play, but we're here. Happy Sunday, y'all. Finally made it, able to come and get some food done. I, I hooked this microphone up to y'all. I hope y'all can hear me. Testing, testing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do something with the settings or what, but we'll see after this video. So I hope y'all staying safe and having a blessed day and not getting too stressed out about this situation. I am coming to y'all today. I told y'all yesterday I was, um, I bought me some greens, was able to get some greens. My head cut off too, but it's all right. And I bought some fresh green beans because I wanted to freeze them in case, you know, we finna get locked in. So that's what I got here. These are turnip and collards. My first time ever tasting turnips too, but that's all they had. Y'all know greens is my thing. I got some good old uh, turkey. That turkey drumstick I told y'all I had cut up at the market. I still have some of that left in there. Right here we got some good old onions. Cucumbers and tomatoes soaked in that Italian dressing. Y'all know how I like it. And right here, I just um, put some lemon pepper and garlic pepper. And saute some little chicken tenders I had couple of chicken tenders I had and I sauteed them on the skillet with some fresh minced garlic and some onions. They just got done too. Mm, I had to make sure it was all the way done because I was rushing. We got some barbecue sauce we're going to slather on there and we're going to get into this prayer and get into this food y'all because I'm in chill mode. The kids just went home. Cleon and Ariane Mimi went home the other day. She's trying to come back. <laughs> So, um, and I just, my mama just told me that, uh, she lives in Ohio, which is like, you know, a couple minutes from me here in Kentucky and they locked down starts Monday night, I think 1159. So I'm just trying to stay prepared y'all. And on the side, we drinking some crystal light peach tea. Yum, yum. We're going to get into this prayer and get into this goodness. Hope y'all can see everything. All right. I try to. Get it together for y'all. I hate when my head cut off, but it's all right. I be wanting the food to be up close to y'all, so that means that my tall 5'11 self head got to be cut off sometimes until I learn how to adjust the angle and all that and all that. But anyway, most gracious and heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for yet another day, Lord. We just want to thank you for just being who you are and just installing trust in us. And just letting us know that you're going to make everything all right, Lord. I ask you to touch anybody who's lacking some faith right now, Lord. Just tap them on their shoulders and let them know that you told us you would never leave or forsake us. Let them know, Lord, you're just trying to make this world a better place. And sometimes you things have to go on in the world like this for us to wake up, Lord. So I just pray that whatever's going on doesn't upset the world even more, but that it changes people's thoughts and minds and ways of thinking, Lord. I ask you to touch anyone who's been affected with this virus. I ask you to just heal them, send them home with some strength, Lord. I ask you to just touch anybody who's wanting to be stubborn and not listening and not staying home and, you know, keep surrounding themselves with this stuff that's also helping it spread, Lord. Just tap them on their shoulder, talk to them, Lord. I ask you to just continue to walk with me and protect me and my family and friends, Lord, near and far, whether we're on lockdown or out in this world trying to get things before lockdown, Lord. We just ask that you step in, Lord. We trust in you with all our might because we know that you are a powerful, awesome, amazing, amazing God. We love you, Lord. We thank you for providing us with what we need and not we want, Lord. We ask you to just shield us with your love, Lord, and show us how to comfort and bless and pray for each other. Lord, I ask you to let this food be a nourishment to my body. Let it let me be done cleaned it good enough and pured it so that it can just bring nourishment to me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm sorry. I got to scoop that back. <clears throat> Ooh. Let me put some of this. Uh. Oh, yeah. I got the Texas Pete hotter than hot. Yeah, I'm trying to find me some good hot sauce. Let me move all that. Um, and 
that's you know that's hot and that's closest I can get. I like real hot, but it ain't hot to me no more like it used to be. So we're gonna put some of these tomatoes, y'all. I just cut up some onions and tomatoes and cucumbers, and I like to eat them on top of my greens and eat them by themselves or whatever. I ain't want to make no pasta. I was going to make mac and cheese, but I said, nah. I'm going to chill out on the starch today. You know, and just eat something good and light and healthy. I know these greens going to run through me because I taste them last night while they was cooking. I like to let my greens cook overnight. My mouth watering, y'all. <laughs> y'all know greens are my favorites. Favorite. I bought a lot of vegetables. I got some asparagus in there, and I had to Google and see how do you, you know, because I don't like my, my my produce and stuff to go bad. So they said that I can cut the stems off and stick them in about two inches of water and wrap them up with a plastic bag and put them in the fridge. And that should be good for about a week or two. But I'm going to try to eat them this week. I bought two bundles because they was 99 cents. And I looked up a couple recipes yesterday. And they had some with some cheese on them where they just zapped them in the oven or whatever. But we're going to eat them. So get y'all a bite of them greens. Oh, man, I need a thumbnail. How am I going to get one? with? I hate when I have certain stuff that I don't know how to get no thumbnail with, but I don't know, y'all. Let me see if I can hold up one of these good old chickens. I got to stew some of that barbecue sauce on. Look at my nappy head. That thumbnail ain't going to be attention seeking, but it is what it is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Baby, some greens be good, y'all. So I just watched that um, Madam C.J. Walker show. I don't know if this microphone on. I think I got to do something with the settings. But I just watched that, y'all. It was good. And um, Cleon got me watching All American. I wasn't into it like that. I had seen, been seeing it on Netflix, but I ain't know. But it's pretty good. So I'm going to finish watching that and chill out for the day. Mm-hmm. I was going to bake them, but I only had like four left in the bag, so I just said, let me go on a, really three and a little half. I said, just let me go on and throw them in a little skillet with some minced garlic and a little butter and some onions and seasoning, and they so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all try these cucumbers and onions and tomatoes on y'all greens now. I know a lot of my old school people that grew up with eating it like this, but so good. <clears throat> mm. Just y'all get a piece of that chicken with some onions and garlic. Good old white chicken tenders. White meat. Mmm. Look at all that. That's when you know you're hungry. Because I ain't had nothing for breakfast but one of them, um, uh, Nature bars. Oh, this chicken is good, y'all. All this food is good. Thank you, Jesus. So, yep. Ohio will be locked down. But I talked to my mama. She went back to the store today. I know she's good over there. But, yep, y'all got them green beans done. I only bought, like, one bundle and put them in a bowl, cooked them all night. 
I'll just put them in the freezer. Uh, see if my brother want a bowl of these greens, and then put the rest in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I was shocked, though. I did Instacart yesterday to get a couple more items, and they didn't even have no beans. I said, now, all before this happened, people ain't eat beans. <laughs> now everybody about to start eating stuff they don't normally eat. I know it's true. I was talking to the kids about that. They were seeing stuff that I was getting in. Mostly quick, simple stuff so we don't have to eat the meals, you know. They were saying how they don't really eat bologna sandwiches. I said, boy, you eat bologna sandwiches talking to Clee. He told me, yeah, but if there's other options, I won't. <laughs> I said, well, let's pray that it don't be that way. But if it do, better fry that bologna up with an egg and sandwich. Mm -hmm. I should have cut some more onions, y'all. I had I just had a half an onion. I ain't gonna have to bust open another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is delicious. Very delicious, especially with this garlic and onions on this chicken. Mm. Mm -mm. Some of them crystal light packets. That's the uh, peach tea, and I think I got pink lemonade. Them come in handy too at a time like this, y'all. Some little packages. Yep. Oh, this is so good, y'all. Mmm. Nothing like a good shower and a good meal and a good movie. I'll be done passed out in a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't like that skin. <laughs> Let the uh, turkey meat come out her. Huh? Mm. That turkey meat be slapping. Um, drop the rest of that on in there. Them onions. Mm -hmm. I should have did a testing before I start recording to see if it was recording. But I missed y'all. I just wanted to get a video out. Seems like these YouTube streets been dead. But I'll probably just be going a lot more live than mukbangs, especially if I ain't cooking nothing. You know, a meal. But who knows? We'll just see what had happened. Because YouTube been tripping. They've been cutting off people's live streams. and they just been tripping, y'all. Look at all that garlic on there, y'all. Y'all see that? And them onions. Woo. I see a lot of... <clears throat> mm-hmm. 
a lot of good challenges going around, positive challenges. And I did Tyler Perry's challenge today where they were singing. Um, He's got the whole world in his hands. And he was telling all the celebrities to keep it going. I jumped in on it with my celebrity self. <laughs> but... Mm. Grains be juicy. Mm. Oh, this is good. In the little pool. Oh my god, y'all. Look at that meat. I gotta show y'all that. It's falling apart. It's so good. Get y'all some of that good old turkey meat. Mm, mm, mm. I could probably live off greens for real. That is really delicious, y'all. And I never really bake, cook my chicken. You know, the tenderloins. Y'all know what I'm talking about, these pieces. I never cook them on top of the stove. I always bake them in the oven. But pretty good. Mm -hmm. That minced garlic and the onion and barbecue sauce gave it some life, baby. <clears throat> that little hot sauce is hot, but it's good. It ain't like hot, 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 but like hurt you hot. Mm -mm. Let me know what y'all doing while locked in. Some people making babies. <laughs> <laughs> Some people eating. We all eating. I know everybody eating. I just take it as a time to just enjoy your peace and thoughts. And, you know what I'm saying? Don't be scared, y'all. Quit being scared and worried and stuff. I seen this video yesterday. No, I will not speak no names, but baby. The type of attitude this girl had in this video, 
I ain't trying to be funny, but I wouldn't want her around me during a time like this. It's like, you know, putting it's, it will put a damper on the whole household and family. And she just seemed like she was lacking faith and bad, like sitting in the video the whole time. Looked like she had an attitude. And I commented, but I wasn't being rude. I was just trying to uplift her spirits and just let her know don't lose her faith and you know, pray for other people. Like we all, she said she's she tired of it. She just wish it go away. It ain't gonna happen like that, baby. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. But she ain't the only one. I've been seeing a lot of people. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to get them onion. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that was delicious, y'all. Hey, mm. mm, mm, mm. Well, yeah, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Because I ain't planning on coming here being here long. I know I had something quick and simple to eat that I enjoyed, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you're new, welcome to the family. We welcome you with love and open arms. We hope you're staying safe and blessed. To all my oldies, my H1s, my A1s from day one, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all always coming back and showing love. Y'all don't mind sharing these videos out with the world so that we can continue to grow. Almost at 4K. Make sure y'all check out our other channel, Face Squad 2020. We getting videos over there. We trying to reach 1K and 4,000 watch hours. So y'all know just, y'all man, if y'all got a little time, play my playlist or something like that. Catch up on some of the old videos. If you haven't seen any, I'm sure there's some videos you probably done missed. We got like over 700. And I just appreciate y'all that do come back and rock with us because we all know it's hard being a content creator. Some people come and go in your life and it's all good. Just make some room for some people who want to be here, you know. But I love y'all so much. Just don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know the comments are disabled, y'all. So leave me some comments over on the community post and let me know how y'all holding up around this time. What y'all doing? It? If y'all want to suggest a meal or something like that. Something I probably already got in my freezer. I got y'all. Or if y'all just want to have any questions or anything, if they personal, send me an email. My email will be in the description box below. And like I said, just share us out. Y'all stay blessed and uplifted and be encouraged. This is this too shall pass, y'all. I promise. It's going to pass. We're going to be all right, y'all. Y'all hear me now? We're going to be all right. What am I? Okay, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share our videos on your social media with your family and friends. Share us with the world, baby. We're on the road to 4K. It's been a long, almost three years on YouTube, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. I enjoy it. I enjoy the people God has blessed in my life and put in my space. and I just enjoy it so much. Sometimes it has ups and downs, but the good always outweigh the bad. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share our videos and leave me some comments on the community post. And y'all already know who we riding with, baby. We are riding with the angels. Peace, love, and blessings to all my beautiful people. I love y'all.